Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie. This layout features the Jen Hadfield range Peaceful Heart. So this is me just having a good look through the papers and the um, ephemera and things that I got from this range and I've picked out some outside woodland photographs that I'd like to use. Decided to use the Follow Your Dreams paper as my base. That's the one with the slice of wood grain. I think that's a beautiful paper. I wish I'd got more than one actually now. And I'm going to use this as a basis as uh, a wreath, a shape design. That's the idea. So I've opened some of the ephemera and uh, I've had a look at that. Quite a lot of greenery, so that's, that's going to be good. And then uh, decided it might be easier to get my title in place first. And then I've got an idea of what space I've got left to play with. So these are the uh, thickers from the Peaceful Heart range. They've got a lovely sort of shadow, so they're a, a, like a beigey gold and pink. So And they're all capitals as well, so that's really nice. So I'm just laying those out on some wax paper. Basically, I'm not very good at committing um, initially to uh, sticking things down. So by putting it on the wax paper first, I can see how the letters are going to stay and where they're going to actually sit in the whole design without actually having to stick them down and keep picking them back up again. So that's the plan. So it's going to be a two word title and we have a word above and below the photographs. So these photographs were taken outside, particularly when the children were small. We used to go out on a regular basis, walk in the woods and um, just spend some family time together. I've got lots of lovely snapshots from those times. We did it over a number of years and um, so yeah, I just picked a few photos that I like the look of. I know there's quite a blue, bit of blue in this photograph. I will try and bring a bit of blue in later on, but um, it's, they're all very natural tones, so I'm not concerned about that uh, at all. So I've got the word explore outdoors there, and I like the way I'm gonna try and get it to follow the rings of the wood, if I can, just to give that circular shape. So that's the plan. So I'm now having a look at what ephemera I can put around these uh, photographs and I've picked some of the flowers and some of the leaves. A little bit of a, I, I know it sounds a bit of an issue, a bit, uh, a bit pathetic really, but some of the ephemera has got quite a lot of white around it. I'm not a huge fan of that. So some of the ephemera, if I use it, I will trim the white down. Just feel that it makes it really stand out and I don't necessarily need it to do that. So it's just a personal thing really, um, but uh, it's just the way I feel. So I'm just looking at some papers to go behind the photographs, just trying to bring in the browns and the pinks still, and uh, just to get them to lift off the wood grain a little bit. So they're just roughly um, a bit bigger. These photos are three by four. It's just to, just to add another layer in. So I don't know whether you've seen this range in the Hey Little Magpie shop. It's um, still there. It's, uh, there's loads of it um, available. Beautiful natural colours. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying uh, creating with this and I certainly would recommend it. Um, really nice quality paper too. So I do recommend you check it out in the Hey Little Magpie store. So I'm just distressing the edges there. That's an old distressor from Prima, many years old, but it's, uh, it certainly does the, does the job. And I just think it adds another layer uh, of interest behind the photographs just by giving it a bit of a, a rough texture around the edges. So I'm going to just use a bit of double-sided tape to stick these layers together so then I can actually get them into position on this um, pattern paper. I do like using pattern paper as a base, um, it makes a change. Uh, I did go through a phase when I just used white cardstock, but um, I'm also trying to use my stash in slightly different ways. So I think this uh, works. I am following the circles on the paper. so. I think it, it, it goes really well. So I'm, because of the ephemera, I decided I'm going to cut some um, leaves using some uh, dyes that I've got in my stash. I cut quite a few there. I only use a few in the end, but I just preferred something without the white edges. So I've stuck the title down and the photographs off camera. And I'm now just trying to get that circular shape by adding the flowers in uh, and around the photograph. That stalk, in the ephemera, I really like it, I think, or a crane, I'm not sure. Really like it, and it does make it in the final cut. Just think it's just a bit of a fun outdoor element. And you may see bottom right, there's an actual, like a snail. 
that too makes it. I just thought there were little quirky elements that I possibly wouldn't use any uh, otherwise. So I think actually, um, if it goes with the theme, it's not a big deal. So uh, uh, Crackley Woods, where we're walking in the Midlands, doesn't necessarily have cranes, but it's okay with me. I'm happy to add that in. So some of these flowers have been fussy cut from papers. Some of them were in the ephemera. So I'm just adding some foam behind some of them just so that I can uh, get them to lift off the background. And I'm definitely liking the way this is looking now. Now, for anybody that's watched some of my videos before, you may notice that the surroundings are a little bit different. So for the first time ever, I took my uh, video out on the road. So I'm actually at a retreat with some friends when I'm making this layout. And uh, very unusual circumstances for me. To, I've always filmed all my videos at home. So interesting um, to do it actually in a different environment. Really pleased with how light the, it, the images looked. I was a little bit concerned that I wouldn't be able to get it um, looking good for you, but actually a bit closer crop, but that's not uh, too big a deal. But uh, yeah, uh, certainly something that I would try again. One of the reasons I started doing videos in the pl first place was to actually um, challenge myself. And so by doing it in a different place, that certainly was a, another little challenge uh, and it's a tick off the list. It worked really well and everybody was very tolerant. Uh, luckily, I don't record the sound at the same time, so it meant I could still chat to my friends and have a good time and um, get this video recorded for you. So I've just added some bits and pieces uh, around tucking in um, bits of uh, die cuts and the leaves. Now, this is something that I wanted to do from the start. I'm actually going to cut into the rings on the paper and just scuff up the edges a little bit. I just felt it would add to the texture of the um, wood grain paper. So I'm going to add a few of these and you'll see me turning it backwards and forwards and I'm using my craft knife which is doesn't get much uh, use these days but perfect for this. Particularly with the glass mat underneath it was just easy to slice into the paper and I'm just using my fingernail there just to scuff the edges of those pa that paper. I don't really want to rip it because I want it to stick on the circular, stay on the circular lines, but I do want it to look a little bit distressed. So uh, I'm going to do a few of these. So you'll see me turning this repeatedly. I get braver and I make the lines longer. I think maybe that's it. So, um, but I just thought it was a really nice idea. And I'd added some dark blue, if you may see in the die cuts around the circle. And I'm actually going to put some uh, dark paper behind these lines, uh, behind these cuts, uh, just to bring that colour in as well. So the more I do, the more I want to do. So I'm quite enjoying this. I'm trying to space them out a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to use dark, this dark blue um, pattern paper just to cover them on the back. Uh, just scraps. They're just cut roughly. So it's. I'm just not putting the glue too near to the actual cuts. Because in fact, a couple of them I do make a little bit longer, but also I want them to have that uh, not to be flat. I want them to be lifted a little bit. So um, yeah, so you see me applying glue wildly around the outsides of these. As I've nearly finished, um, I just want to say, if you like what you see, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to Hey Little Magpie and to my channel Sheena Rowlands. We'd love to see you at both in the future. If you like what, uh, my videos, uh, I'd love you to come back to my site. Here's the full image and the close-ups. And I, I really love this range and I would really recommend you check it out in the store. Um, that's all for today, but thanks for watching and I'll see you here soon. Bye for now.